Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing how to find the area of quadrilaterals and triangles. So here are the quadrilaterals and triangle that we have been looking at. Let's start by looking at one shape at a time and reviewing their formulas. So this is a triangle since it has three sides. And remember the formula is base times height half of that. So you can either divide it by two or multiply the whole thing by one half. And the base and the height of the triangle form a right angle. The next shape we looked at was a parallelogram. We have two sets of parallel sides and the formula to find the area of that is base times the height. And again, the base and the height are going to form a right angle. Rectangle is similar, base times height. This would be the base and this would be the height. And then our last shape that we looked at was a trapezoid, which had two sets of pair or one set of parallel sides. So it had two bases, base one and base two, and then the height forms the right angle. And that area can be found by adding the bases together and multiplying by the height and taking half of it, either by multiplying by one half or dividing by two. So let's practice finding the area of these shapes. So this first one is a triangle. So I will find the area by doing base times height divided by two. So let's identify the base and the height. It would be 15 and 10 since those form the right angle. This 21.2 is extra information. So to find the area of this triangle, I'm gonna do 15 times 10 and divide by two. So the area would be 150 divided by two. So the area of this triangle is 75 feet squared. All right, let's look at number two. This is a rectangle, so to find the area, I will just do the base times the height. Just multiply the two sides together. So to find the area, I will do 20 times 4.5, which would be 90. So the area of this triangle is 90 millimeters squared. Okay, next shape is a trapezoid. Since I have two parallel sides, but they are different sizes. So this is a trapezoid. So to find the area, I will add the bases together, multiply it by the height, and then divide by two. So I need to identify the bases and the height. 8 would be the base, 14 would be the second base, and then 4 would be the height since it's forming the right angle with the bases. So to find the area of this trapezoid, I'm going to do 8 plus 14 times the height of 4 and then divide it by 2. So the area would be 8 plus 14 is 22 times 4 all divided by 2. 22 times 4 is 88, and 88 divided by 2 is 44. So the area of this trapezoid is 44 centimeters squared. Okay, number 4, I have a square. And the formula for that is just base times height. Since it's a square, all of the sides are equal, so to find the area, I would just do 12 times 12. So the area of this square is 144 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number five. This is a parallelogram, since I have parallel sides. So to find the area of a parallelogram, we will just do base times the height. And the base would be 14.4, since that forms a right angle with the height of two. So to find the area, I'm gonna do 14.4 times two. And 14.4 times two is 28.8. So the area is 28.8 
yards squared. Okay, number six, I have a triangle. So to find the area of the triangle, I'll do the base times the height and then divide it by two. I have lots of sides here, so let's start by identifying the base and the height. That would be 15 and three, since that is the side length that forms a right angle from the center of the base to another vertex. So these sides are not needed to find the area of the triangle. So to find the area of the triangle, I'm gonna do the base times the height, which would be 15 times three divided by two. So the area would be 15 times three is 45 divided by two, and 45 divided by two is 22.5. So the area of this triangle is 22.5 centimeters squared. Okay, number seven, I have a trapezoid. Since I have those bases that are different lengths. And to find the area of a trapezoid, we're gonna add the bases together, multiply by the height, and then divide by two. So let's identify those things. One of my bases is 10. That's forming a right angle with seven, which is gonna be the height. And then I do not know what this base is yet, but I can figure it out. It would be five plus the length of the other base, which was 10. And five plus 10 is 15. So that whole second base is 15 centimeters. So now I have the three things that I need to find the area of the trapezoid. I have base one, base two, and I have the height of seven. So to find the area of this trapezoid, we will do base one plus base two, which would be 10 plus 15 times seven, and then we will divide it by two. So 10 plus 15 is 25. So I'll do 25 times seven divided by two. 25 times seven is 175, and 175 divided by two is what I need to do next. Area of this trapezoid is 87.5 centimeters squared. And then the last problem, this is a parallelogram. Since I have two sets of parallel sides. And to find the area of a parallelogram, we do the base times the height. And the base is 13, which is forming a right angle with three the height. So to find the area of the parallelogram, I would just do 13 times three which is 39. So the area of the parallelogram is 39 feet squared.